Ever wondered what's the secret to a long healthy life? Could it be hidden in the protein you consume? Let's dive in. Protein, that vital nutrient, isn't just about building biceps or feeding gym obsessions. It plays a crucial role in our overall health and believe it or not, longevity. But here's where things get, let's say, meaty. The great debate, plant protein versus animal protein. It's like the heavyweight championship of nutritional science, but is one really better than the other? The answer isn't quite black and white. Our protein needs depend on a multitude of factors, your age, your health, and even how much you deadlift on a Tuesday. So it seems this protein predicament is a bit more nuanced than we thought. So protein isn't just about muscles, it's a longevity game changer, but not all proteins are created equal, are they? Ever heard of the green protein? No, it's not Hulk's secret diet, it's plant-based protein. And let me tell you, it's got some serious superpowers. First off, plant-based proteins are like nature's multivitamin. They're chock full of fiber, antioxidants, and other beneficial nutrients. Picture this. One cup of lentils not only gives you 18 grams of protein, but also fills up nearly half of your daily fiber requirement. It's like getting a protein shake and a salad all in one. Secondly, plant-based proteins are like the cool kids on the block when it comes to heart health. They're typically lower in saturated fat and cholesterol compared to animal proteins, which means they're less likely to clog up your arteries and more likely to keep your ticker ticking for longer. Now let's talk about our planet for a moment. Plant-based proteins are like the eco-warriors of the food world. They require fewer resources to produce and emit less greenhouse gases compared to animal proteins. So by choosing plant-based proteins, you're not just doing your body a favor, but also giving Mother Earth a much-needed hug. But let's be real here. Plant-based proteins aren't perfect. Some of them are like jigsaw puzzles with a few pieces missing. They lack certain essential amino acids that our bodies need. But don't worry, this isn't a deal breaker. You can easily overcome this by eating a variety of plant-based proteins throughout the day. It's like hosting a potluck dinner where everyone brings a different dish to the table. And yes, plant proteins might be a bit shy when it comes to bioavailability. In simpler terms, our bodies might not absorb plant proteins as readily as animal proteins, but again, this isn't a cause for alarm. With a balanced diet and a little planning, you can ensure your body gets all the protein it needs. So plant-based protein is like the eco-friendly superhero of proteins. But can it stand up to its animal-based counterpart? Well, stick around to find out. Now let's talk about the protein from our furry, feathered, and finned friends. You see, when it comes to protein, animals really bring their A-game. Animal-based proteins often come with complete amino acid profiles. That means they've got all the essential amino acids our bodies need but can't produce on their own. Quite the party pack, right? And this isn't their only superpower, they're also rich in certain nutrients like iron and vitamin B12, which are critical for our bodies to function smoothly. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Animal proteins can be higher in saturated fats and cholesterol, and if you remember your high school biology, you'd know these could raise the risk of chronic diseases like heart disease, so while they're serving up a hearty dose of protein and nutrients, they might also be setting the table for some unwanted guests. And then there's the elephant in the room, the environmental impact. Animal agriculture can be a significant contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. Plus, there's the whole water and land use aspect. It's a bit like inviting someone to your party who eats all the snacks and doesn't help clean up. Not the best guest, right? There are also ethical considerations. For some, the welfare of our animal friends is a paramount concern. It's a bit like being the host who cares about whether their guests are having a good time or not, so, it seems animal proteins are a bit like that friend who's loads of fun but can also be a bit of a handful. They've got loads of great qualities but also a few quirks that need managing. So, animal proteins aren't all villains, they've got some superpowers too. But how do we choose between these protein powerhouses? Well, stay tuned for the verdict. We're about to crack this protein conundrum wide open. The moment of truth has arrived. Which protein source takes the crown for longevity? Well folks, it's time for a curveball. The real champion here isn't a singular source of protein, but rather a harmonious blend of both plant and animal proteins. Let's start with variety. Think of it as the spice of life, a culinary adventure. Embracing a medley of protein sources from both plants and animals can provide you with a full spectrum of amino acids and nutrients. So, don't be shy, mix it up. Combine lean animal proteins like fish and poultry with a variety of plant-based proteins. Next up, let's prioritize plant power. Plant-based proteins like legumes, nuts, seeds, and whole grains are not only great sources of protein but also come packed with fiber, antioxidants, and other beneficial nutrients. 
So, aim to make these plant proteins the stars of your plate, the majority of your protein intake. Now let's talk about animal protein. There's no denying that animal proteins are rich in certain nutrients and offer complete amino acid profiles. However, moderation is key. Enjoy lean animal protein but keep it balanced. And when you do, focus on sustainable and ethically sourced options. Because let's be honest, we all want to feel good about what's on our plate. Lastly, listen to your body. Like an intuitive dance partner, your body often knows what it needs. Pay attention to how you feel after consuming different protein sources and adjust your choices accordingly. Maybe that tofu stir-fry leaves you energized, or perhaps that grilled chicken salad keeps you satiated for hours. So, it's not about either or, it's about balance and variety. It's about understanding your own dietary needs and preferences and tailoring your protein intake accordingly. But remember, like any good diet, it's all about what suits you best. The key to longevity isn't just about consuming protein but about enjoying a diverse and balanced diet that caters to your individual needs. So, go forth, experiment, and find the perfect protein balance for you. Still got questions? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Let's tackle some common queries. First, you may be wondering, can I get enough protein if I'm a vegetarian or vegan? The answer is a resounding yes. Plant-based proteins, such as beans, lentils, quinoa, and soy products are excellent sources of protein. Plus, they come with the added benefits of fiber, antioxidants, and other vital nutrients. It's all about variety and balance. Now you might be thinking, what about amino acids? Don't animal proteins have all the essential ones? Great observation. While it's true that animal proteins generally provide all essential amino acids, you can absolutely get all your essential amino acids from plant sources too. You just need to mix and match. Think beans and rice or hummus and pita bread. These are examples of combinations that give you a complete set of amino acids. Another question we often hear is, can I eat too much protein? Well, it's not so much about the quantity of protein, but rather the quality. Consuming large amounts of protein from processed foods or fatty meats can increase your risk of heart disease and other health issues. So it's wise to focus on lean, high-quality proteins and balance them with other macronutrients. And for the eco-conscious among us, which is better for the environment, plant, or animal protein? Here, plant proteins take the lead. They require less water and land and produce fewer greenhouse gases compared to animal proteins. So choosing more plant proteins can be a win for your health and the planet. Lastly, how to transition to more plant proteins. Small changes can make a big difference. Try meatless Mondays, swap cow's milk for almond or oat milk, or experiment with tofu in your next stir fry. Gradually, you might find yourself enjoying these changes and making them a permanent part of your lifestyle. Remember your protein needs are unique to you and depend on factors like your age, health status, and activity level. So it's important to listen to your body and adjust your protein sources accordingly. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. Reach out to a dietitian or nutritionist if you need help tailoring a protein strategy that suits you. And of course, keep tuning into our channel for more insight, tips, and guidance. Remember, the journey to longevity isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. So, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep laughing. Until next time, Protein Pros. And before we wrap up this protein-packed episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing to our channel, you'll not only be supporting us, but also ensuring you never miss out on our health and longevity tips. We're constantly exploring new topics, answering your questions, and bringing you the latest research findings. Plus, subscribing allows you to be part of our vibrant community, where we learn, share, and grow together. So don't wait. Click on that subscribe button and join us on this journey to better health and longevity. Remember, knowledge is power, and when it comes to your health, we believe in empowering you to make the best decisions for your body. So, until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and stay healthy, Protein Pros.